Hello students and viewers. I want to talk to you about using a capital letter at the start of a name or a proper noun. Now, this is all very well and good, but some of you don't really understand, or it seems from your writing don't understand when something is a name or proper noun and when it isn't. For instance, if I'm going to town, town is not the name of that place, it is just what sort of thing it is. It's just a describing word. It's not a place called town. However, if I'm going to a place called Geelong, and it's a specific place, then it gets a capital G. So depending on where I live, if I say I'm going into town, I might in fact mean Point Cook, I might mean Melbourne, I might mean Sydney, but if I say I'm going to Geelong, then I don't just mean a town, or I'm assuming what you know I mean by town, you're naming a particular town. Likewise, if I bought a new phone, now phone doesn't need to be capitalised because it's not a name of a specific object, it's just a type of thing. So it's called a common noun. However, if I bought a Samsung Galaxy, that is a, there's only one object that gets called that, because naming is specific. Now I know there are heaps of Samsung Galaxy phones made, but they are all a Samsung Galaxy. They have a name. So let's go through and let's correct a little bit of this. I was just talking to Jack. Yes, so Jack gets a J, a capital J, because that's his name. You're not just talking to anybody or the kid next door, you're talking to Jack, so your name. I went to the shop with mum. Now this is a little bit trickier. If you were just using it to say my mum, then that's just describing what she is. You know, it's like saying the lady next door. It's my mum. However, if you use mum in place of her name, let's say your mum's name was Carol. So, I went to the shop with mum. And you could take mum out and put Carol in. I went to the shop with Carol and it would get a capital letter. Then mum gets a capital letter, if you're using it as her name. And the same is true for dad, of course. Um, now, last thing I want to talk to you about is these things called epithets, which are sometimes when people have kind of nicknames that stick, and they're often the or of, or like Joan of Arc. But, so Jack the Ripper, he gets a capital J. The the doesn't get capitalised, but Ripper does because it's part of his name. His name is Jack the Ripper, so you capitalise every word. And likewise with Attila the Hun. So... Likewise, my name is Mark, capital M, um, Ethel, capital E, Omara. And in fact, the O and the M are both capitalised because Omara is in fact of Mara. I don't know why that just went little, but it did. So it's actually two words that are shortened. So, every word in the name. So, you know, this is true of, you know, the Collingwood Football Club. Collingwood football club that's its name every word gets a capital so hopefully that's cleared it up for you because this is something that is pretty easy to defeat